Okay, I'm Jacob Allspec, the principal of Allspec to Architecture, and we've been involved with uh, the renovation of this Bopes Library uh, for uh, the last seven years, since 2003. Um, uh, the le this latest phase is the uh, creation of the Graduate Research Commons uh, on the fourth and fifth floors of the library. Librarians um, uh, um, did a lot of research, as they're expert at, and uh, we did our own research, and there weren't that many institutions that actually have this level of flexibility. So a lot of this is uh, quite cutting edge uh, in terms of being able to um, uh, have the students manipulate their environment and adjust it. So there are a lot of features uh, uh, that are uh, created with the sort of contemporary uh, learning environment uh, in mind. I think this may be one of the first places uh, that I know of that are uh, uh, experimenting with these kinds of uh, spatial manipulations. This is the south wing, the center between the two elevator banks, and it is the first welcoming space, orientation space, to the Graduate Research Commons. Uh, behind me is the help spot that you can see is highlighted by the architecture, the sort of uh, sloping ceiling going down toward giving a false perspective toward the help spot, uh, the light cove, and the desk itself, which is more of an interactive counter um, uh, where librarians and patrons can interact uh, and help uh, uh, find the materials and the methods that they need to do their research. As we go progressively toward the north, the environment gets uh, more quiet and more studious. Uh, in this case, um, we are, you can see there's a view out toward uh, Washington Square Park, uh, obliquely, uh, and you can also see that the walls are a different color than they were in the south. And in addition to that, you can also see that the ceiling is modulating similarly to uh, the south wing and the east wing. Um, the slope is toward the light in all cases, uh, up toward the light to orient you or up toward uh, the atrium. These, these tables here are all equipped with power and, and uh, uh, data hookups. Uh, well, actually, the data hookups are wireless as well. We're at, again, on the west wing. We're at the workstations that face the atrium. Um, and we've deliberately created these workstations that have the view out. Even though this is an interior view, it is an interesting view and it extends the space. So this has a certain uh, nature to it. These divider panels are all movable so that if in the future demand either increases or decreases the sizes of the workstations can be expanded or contracted. Technology can be added or subtracted again and of course there are always power uh, outlets for uh, all of the devices that everyone has these days. So we're in the center bay of the east wing now on the fourth floor. Um, we have laptop docking carrels here, again with the movable partitions uh, and the privacy screen in this case. So sitting down here, you would not see uh, the person on the other side, but standing up, you do uh, have a view, uh, secure view throughout the uh, windows in the center bay. Uh, opening those up, keeping this view corridor and enhancing this east-west axis, which is something uh, that was in the original plans of the building that we've uh, uh, restored re to the building uh, in order to uh, uh, re-enhance the original Philip Johnson design. Uh, these areas had been filled in over the years as books were acquired and the collections grew. Uh, and with the advent of uh, uh, electronic uh, information, um, some of the uh, collection requirements can be eased somewhat. We're in, in one of the um, more finished Philip Johnson design spaces that we've restored more than renovated. Um, 
uh, the differences being the addition of these long, um, uh, more traditional library tables. This is one of the more, this is the most quiet study environment. It's the northernmost environment on the fourth floor. As you can see, it's double height, gets tremendous light from the north and has wonderful views out to the park and to the uh, midtown skyline. Um, of course, all the workstations are equipped with uh, power and um, the flexibility of having a continuous table allows the increase of density during uh, finals and midterms uh, when the demand for seats and study space in the library is at a peak. Behind me we have uh, the view uh, from outside, from within the atrium stairways toward the renovated floors as well as toward the existing floors. And uh, the point here is that the lighting that we've created is indirect and calming and presents a uniform appearance and uh, is relatively glare-free compared to the existing lighting above. It is also much more energy efficient uh, and part of the strategy of creating the cove was to create it using acoustically absorptant materials as opposed to the original where all the surfaces were quite hard and, uh, and acoustic, acoustically reflective. So the strategy here is that what you see on four and five will eventually be applied toward the entire building. Lowering the book stacks, of course, is a really great uh, spatial improvement and a functional improvement because one does not need to necessarily get up on ladders to reach uh, the highest uh, uh, shelving, which is true of so much of the building and has uh, stacks that go up about nine feet. Uh, beyond the reach of most people. Um, the other thing you see here are the end panels, the new end panels, which are wood and acoustic fabric. Uh, the signage here is uh, temporary. Um, that will be coming in soon. But uh, the fabric, as well as the ceiling and the floor, helps to control noise in this area. What I really want to uh, show, demonstrate here is, are the Mobi storage units. Uh, uh, these are units that um, uh, students can uh, reserve for a semester and um, they lock them up. These are sort of little garages we call and you can unlock them and pull your unit out and basically this is a mobile file cabinet that has all of your study materials in and room for all kinds of stuff. Um, and one can bring this anywhere in the building via the elevators, take to your favorite workstation, take it inside a graduate uh, study room, um, etc. cetera. And uh, this is a very important feature that again came out of all of the focus uh, and research groups we did prior to in starting design. One of the things we observed and also came out of the focus groups was the need to have casual seating and places where actually people could use their cell phones without disturbing people who are working in the more serious environments. So we actually created uh, fixed seating out here uh, and supplemented uh, uh, the infrastructure with power jacks. Uh, we found that students were sitting on the floor out here anyway, uh, so we may as well make an environment where a certain kind of study and interaction can take place. And in fact, this area during uh, midterms and finals is just uh, chock full of people doing all sorts of things. We're in the southern wing of the fifth floor. Uh, this is the heart of the graduate research commons. Uh, there is a series of workstations and different kinds of flexible uh, tables that can be used to recombine um, and have larger or smaller groups uh, um, collaborate here. This is the noisy area of the floor and it's deliberately designed to have an interactive non-library kind of contemporary um, uh, collaborative environment uh, to encourage collaboration between 
disciplines as well as between faculty and students. So I'm in the digital studio, which is um, uh, the very uh, high-powered workstations here for uh, databases, uh, number crunching, sociology, uh, all kinds of sophisticated uh, computational uses. Uh, behind me is what we call the genius bar, a term we, I guess, took from uh, Apple computer. Um, and it will be uh, staffed when the studio is open uh, by experts to assist uh, faculty and graduate students in their work. Um, uh, the barn right now is closed. Uh, like a barn, we have a big sliding door. And when it's open, we have quite a large opening. And the idea of the door is that when it's open, it actually kind of disappears into the architecture. And so the space is very transparent and welcoming uh, for uh, the students. The idea being access to technology rather than an inner sanctum. This is um, uh, uh, freely available uh, to those who need it. We're in the um, uh, dissertation writing room, uh, which is a space that uh, can be reserved for uh, uh, special projects for, I guess, PhD candidates who are working on their dissertation so they can have a nice workstation setup, uh, commodious shelving, coat hooks, uh, and uh, a very comfortable chair to work in and spend hours here uh, writing writing their dissertations.